Hi, I'm Terry Murphy for Speakers Roundtable. To introduce the amazing Naomi Rohde is a delight. A Hall of Fame speaker and legend of the Speaking Profession Award winner, she has touched the souls of millions with her passion approach to faith and personal excellence. You will discover that passion in her message today, Learning Through Loss. Here's Naomi Rohde. What an amazing time we live in. Stock market has never been better. Sales are up and everything is going wonderfully. Oh, wait a minute. That was then, and this is now. Things aren't so good, are they? Sales are down. There are a lot of things happening in our world that are very, very tragic. Oh, gee, I had 104, no, it was 100.4 temperature this morning. Could that mean that I have the virus? No. And my parents, I I'm afraid they're not going to make it through this. They're elderly, you may be saying. And you may be saying, look, I had no intention of homeschooling. No intention. When are these kids going to go back to school? And our food bill is rising with them at home. All they do is eat. And not only that, but gas is cheap as it's ever been and there's no place to go. Okay, enough of that. What are we gonna do about it? The word is loss. This is accumulation of losses. Losses always happen in life, but we're having a lot of losses right now. How do we handle them? Well, I came from a great heritage of a mother and father with amazing wisdom. One sibling, a brother. And a few months ago, uh, one of our children, one of our daughters, was diagnosed with a very serious cancer. It was a real shock to us. It was, I guess, a loss of the security of her health, which I had assumed would be just perfect forever. She has six children and uh, three grandchildren, a big dental practice, married to a physician, and they've got life going for them. And now this, to face a loss, so I went to visit my brother, who's been a mentor to me all my life, an older brother. And he and his wife had five children, and they lost four of them. Now that is a loss. And I went to him and I said, you've got to tell me how you did this. I'm not presuming I'm going to lose our daughter, but I've lost the security of her health. And tell me how you worked your way through this and he looked at me and he said look me straight in the eye Naomi plant your feet in your faith in God stand firm hang on and stay part of the team be a committed person a part of the team work with other people interesting because I I think we not only need to be part of the team, but I think we need to be leaders in the team. I think all of us have a leader potential. And I think we have to be givers and not just takers. My father lived through the Great Depression in the 30s, the 1930s, and he told me the story about the proverbial shopkeeper who had a scarcity mentality. No, he had an abundance mentality unlike the other shopkeepers. And when you came in to have five pounds of coffee beans scooped, they were probably Starbucks. He would put the five pound weight on one side and the five pound empty container and he'd start to scoop those beans. And he would scoop and scoop and scoop until it was perfectly level with the five pound weight. And then he would pause and he would twinkle and he would make a nice heaping scoop on top of that five pound container, it would off balance in favor of you, the customer. And he would say the French Creole word, word lagnette, lagnette. It means every bit you paid for, and then just a little bit extra. Are you that kind of a person? Are you a leader through losses? Do you give every bit you're paid for and then a little bit extra? blessings. We hope you enjoyed that. Here's more information.